guys, my son Owen is three. Wow. And he's definitely a fun guy. And over the years, you've seen his room transition from baby room to toddler room, and we finally wanted to give it a full makeover in an adventure theme. So I wanna show you a super easy DIY idea, my favorite tips and tricks for saving, and how we completely redid it. He basically has a tree house in his room now, so it's super cool, I can't wait to share. Open your eyes! <laughs> The first thing we did was disassemble the room and declutter along the way. Do you want to keep that blanket? Yeah. Why do you want to keep that blanket? Because. Are you excited? Yeah. This is a blanket it is, it kind of seems like it's broken right now, huh? Because we have to put it all together. And since we're stuck in quarantine and we can't go anywhere, we did all of the shopping online. So our best bet was to head to Overstock for a new bed. Just exactly what you wanted for quarantine, a bunk bed that comes in a million little pieces. <laughs> Now you guys know some of my favorite places to save to get furniture are Macy's, Walmart, Amazon, Wayfair, and Overstock. And a lot of the items are the exact same things cross-posted, so I just look for the best deal. And Overstock is awesome because you can hit a good sale and I love their flash deals when you can catch them. You know assembly's gonna be a rockin' good time. <laughs> So you might as well be saving. <laughs> it's much better now. In addition to that, make sure that you have Rakuten installed on your browser. This used to be called Ebates. I talk about it all the time because I save hundreds of dollars a year by doing it. They have all the stores I just mentioned in addition to about 3,500 stores that offer cash back for purchases you are making anyway. And right now, Overstock is 15% cash back. Plus, you can stack with any available coupons. I'll have a link in my description box below. You get 10 free dollars when you sign up and the app itself is totally free. Are you excited? Oh my goodness, he looks so small. He's so small inside. Hi! I want to talk both you. We also got our box mattresses online. I try to wait for that $100 and under price point because that's a good deal, y'all. Plus, I was able to stack it with Rakuten cash back. And the way the cash back works is every quarter at the end of the quarter, you get a check in the mail with all of your savings. To fit with the adventure theme, I wanted to give it a woodland look and I found these amazing birchwood decals online, but they were more than I wanted to spend. So I decided to do a DIY using things I already had. I got ceiling paint from the garage and I used painter's tape to put the outline of the tree on the wall. This was one of those projects that I did almost in the middle of the night because the boys were having a sleepover in Carson's room and inspiration struck and it ended up turning out really cool. I removed the painter's tape and gave a second coat of white paint and then I took some gray chalk paint that I had to give the little notches in the trees to look like birch wood. And this was so easy and actually looks custom. I love how they turned out. We also took the shelving unit down above the dresser to help open up the space. Above it, I wanted to put some canvas art, but they were way too expensive on Etsy, and you can actually make these yourself. All you need is a paint canvas drop cloth and some wood pieces. These are 24 inches by three quarters of an inch thick. Stain them or paint them in whatever color you want, and then add a design to the canvas. You can use a Cricut machine to do this, or a stencil, or even just basic spray paint. I actually have a whole video on this, which I'll be sure to link down below. Put some wood glue on your board, your canvas over top, and then add any type of jute twine you can even get from the dollar store, another board on top, and then add staples. share this with you guys if the DIY seems a little tricky the Target dollar section sells these for five dollars they're poster hanging kits so you can see how easy it is with the magnets on the bottom and hold any paper right inside 
you can see how big the canvas one is. It looks really good in here. And these smaller ones are actually my favorite for displaying kids' artwork because it's really easy to change out. So you can stick this right on the wall like that. It's gonna look super cute here. This is also such a great time to go through your house and find those home decor pieces you haven't been using. I found some old floating shelves to hang on the wall and a super fast trick to hang them is to put some painter's tape on the back and then mark where the hanging mechanism is. Stick your painter's tape directly on the wall and it's super easy to see exactly where to hang it. No fuss, no mess. My all-time favorite part of this makeover was seeing Owen's reaction. projects around your house, using things that you already have, updating your spaces, spending time as a family, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear about it. Be sure to download Rakuten. It's free money back for shopping you were doing anyway. I'll be sure to put a link in my description. You get $10 back when you sign up. I am so grateful for you guys. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, because I want to see you next time. I'll catch you then. Bye. Where's Owen? <laughs> Are you Owen Bear? No. I'm just a real bear. You're a real bear? <laughs> <laughs>